So I'm pretty pissed off that it's taken almost two months. I don't want to see any wires outside of that bar right there. So it's gonna it's gonna look clean. All the changes that we're gonna be doing to the bike, great option right here. Way cheaper if you were just to go order just the regular short backs from Harley. Welcome back to the video. Right here we have my 2021 Road Glide Special. Today we're gonna to be talking about everything, all the changes that we're gonna be doing to the bike, all the changes that have been done to it in the past two weeks as well, quite a few. Um, and then my future plans on where I'm going with this build now. So really quick, let's just start with the, the work that has changed in the last two weeks. So as you guys know, this comes with the stretch bags, got rid of them. Um, I wanted the short bags because I wanted to do a 201, which we'll talk about next. But yeah, I took the stretch bags off. I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm just over that look. I, I don't like the way the stretch bags look at all. So I actually got these from Avon Black. So if you guys are interested in changing your bike around, changing the looks of it, um, this is a great great option right here way cheaper if you were just to go order just the regular short bags from harley um they look just like them quality is really good as well i kept the stock lids though um so as you can see the paint matches perfectly um Evan black sends you everything color matched uh to your bike um so right after i got the bags obviously we got the graphics somewhere here so we got some silver leafing done with the 87 no this is not done because as you can see here the bike it looks a little offset right now because it's just like black red black red black red black red and it's just a whole bunch of red here in the back um so we're, we're gonna be doing some black accents i don't know thinking about doing some like sick black lines to go over maybe here i, I don't know well i'm gonna kind of let the artist do his own thing but um talking about that if you guys are in the local area new york jersey hit up anthony he does a great great job he did the graphics on both sides so as you can see right here as well um came out great now one of the main reasons why i really wanted to get the short bags was because i was already planning to do the two to one which we already did the install video so if you guys want to watch that video i'm going to be linking it up at the at the end right now so you guys take a look at that full little video just installing the the pipe going from the two and the two to the two and one also chromeworks I think chromeworks makes a great product guys deep sound if you're looking for that deep growl um the two and one is going to give you a raspier sound though really really love the sound that this bike is giving me um i had no issues with the two and the two at all um i love those pipes but wanted to change the looks of the bike i wanted a different sound and um i wanted to stay with chrome work so we got the two and the one right here let's just give you guys a nice little walk through of the bike first up ahead here um it's it's a lot so i mean even the last two weeks we got the exhaust we got the short bags we got the graphics done and there's just so much to do i don't know if we just let's just hop in the bike right now take it out for a ride she's filthy um get a detail her soon and um yeah let's go let's go for a ride real quick well before that let's just give you guys a, a cold start you guys can hear the pipe That sounds so good. <laughs> Just want to let it idle there. Way, way different sound from the dual exhaust. Sounds good. All right, so let's talk about what else we're gonna be changing on the bike. It's a lot of things. So we spoke about the bags, the graphics, the two one exhaust. We're also gonna be doing some carbon fiber parts. So we're gonna be doing the rear fender. We're gonna be doing the tank dash and maybe some other uh, some other parts. I'm not gonna mention the company yet. I want it to be a surprise once 
the parts come in and we do the install videos i'll give you guys all the description down below um and it's just not gonna be your ordinary just carbon there it's gonna it's gonna have some flavor to it uh definitely different it's gonna look different so i i'm i'm really excited really 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 excited for that so i got the indian larry event coming this saturday so i'm hoping to come in this week if not bummer but the, the the parts are gonna get on the bike soon sounds so good so yeah we're gonna we're gonna be doing the carbon fiber parts now i have the bar headlights up in the front as you guys know i got the amber and white i have also the baja s1s at home i've been having them for months already the reason why i haven't installed them is because i ordered the santoro front crash bar to match the real one that i have here on the bike right now that was almost two months ago so i'm pretty pissed off that it's taken almost two months to get that uh that front crash bar in um but i want to install the lights on the bar at this point right now i'm like really pissed off so i might just cancel the order and do something else so either a i just get another front crash bar um and then i just put the uh the S1s as the turn signal so I can eliminate the stock turn signals right now. I was going to do the custom dynamics, little uh, low profile lights, um, but since I have the S1s, all I have to do is just maybe just order the bracket to put them up there in the front. I don't know. I'm, I'm undecided about that. So let me know what you guys think. Would you rather see the S1s as the turn signals on the fairing or would you rather put them on the front crash bar? Now, the way I'm going to do them, the way I want it done is that i want the uh the wires to go flow in internally so i don't want to see any wires outside of that bar right there so it's gonna it's gonna look clean um then it's gonna break off because i mean the the s1s look cool to me uh, as a turn signals but sometimes when you have both bajas in the front you got those it kind of to me kind of looks better if you put them down in the crash bar to kind of break it off um but yeah i'm not i'm undecided about that so the s1s plus the santoro hopefully front crash bar if not i'll um i'll end up doing another company also another part that i have at home before we talk about suspension is the front forks i got the front forks for the bikes all chromed out and they've just been sitting in the garage because i haven't decided on what suspension to go with um i'm pretty close to making that choice um so that's that's gonna be soon so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna chrome out the bottom legs take off the cowbells um and then drop in the suspension so chrome lower front end and suspension is gonna be another thing now after that what i want to do is get some rotors so i really really love the rotors the galfer rotors the wave rotors that i had on my low rider s before and i spoke to pino a while ago i'm like hey listen i really want to get those but i just want to try something different i want to i want to get something different just because i want to get something different i always want to try to do different things and he was like dude like the ones you had were sick everybody loves those like they they they, they look awesome so who cares if you already had them put them on again so debating on it i was thinking about doing maybe all the nests but I don't know. I kind of I might want to go back and do those same Galfer rotors again. They'll look sick on this bike. So that's another thing that we're going to get. Now that we're cranking the throttle, one thing that I've been thinking about lately, and I know I made the video talking about the cam. I had the 475 cam on my Lowrider S before. Loved it. And now I have the 465 cam in this one love it even more but now that i changed the exhaust the exhaust sounds better um raspier i just kind of I, I feel like i'm kind of missing more of a lobe now and since i already tried the 475 sns cam i might want to switch out this cam 
the fuel in 465 Reaper cam and do a star racing 3030 cam. I might do it. I've seen the results of that cam on multiple bikes that Mike has built at the uh, Tour Custom Cycle Shop, and it's a it's a great cam. And, and if I was to switch out right now, which I am thinking about switching out, I think it's going to be that cam. If you guys use a different cam on your bike on your 114, let me know what 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 you prefer. If it's different from the ones I just mentioned right now. Um, another thing we're going to be changing out is going to be the air cleaner right here. So we have the Streaming Eagle Heavy Breather Air Cleaner right here, which I want to change out. I might want to do the, the the Trask Air Cleaner or the Fueling. Fueling has, a, has one that's very similar to the one Trask makes as well. Um, clear, looks really nice, really cool. So that's probably going to be the next thing as well. Now as far as engine work, I really, really want to do a Stage 3. Um, build this 114 out to be like a, a 122. I love the 122 feel. Um, I love that build. Uh, so either a 122 or a 128. That would be awesome. Um, that's not like on the top of my list right now because all the other stuff that we mentioned before are. Um, but maybe, you know, maybe it could be like a winter project. Who knows? But 122 with the star racing cam and this exhaust now this bike is going to be putting up some good numbers it's going to be sounding good and it's still going to be above and beyond everything reliable and that's uh obviously what we're looking for here reliability i think we pretty much covered everything um i love my bar setup my arlen s bar setup uh the mid bend thrashing bar that I got on here. So that's the setup if you're wondering. It's a, it's a 10 inch um, Arlen S riser right here with the thrashing mid bend bar. And then we got that Empire collection from Marley Davidson for the heater grips, which I love. The Empire collection mirrors, which also look really, really clean. Love those as well. Um, the orange windshield, I really like it a lot. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe getting the red one now just to see how it's gonna look. I think the red will look sick as well. Who knows? Or maybe the yellow. The yellow looks sick. But yeah, we, we might go with the red. I'm not sure yet. Um, anything else? Anything else? I love my Lapero tail whip seat. I'm not changing that. Um, the Olin's and Streaming Eagle suspension in the rear. Love that suspension. I'm not changing that out. I think that's that's pretty much it. I think I think that's pretty much it. The bike is gonna be looking a lot different, let's say like a month from now. So we'll, we'll, we'll do another recap video once all the parts that are mentioned are on the bike as well. We'll do a nice little walk around. We'll go into the specifics of everything. Um, but yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, you guys know me. I love trying new products. I love making my bike mine. I like making it unique. I like adding my own flavor to it. That's the best thing about these Harley Davidsons is that every one of them is different. And yes, even though right now this is like kind of a, a performance bagger look type of build. Um, and there are a lot of bikes that have that similar look. Everyone adds their own flavor to it. So that's so one of the coolest things man about only one of these bikes it's just making it yours anyways with that being said guys i'm gonna let you go i'm gonna keep enjoying the rest of the next few hours that we have here in jersey with kind of cloudy skies because it's been pouring non-stop storms and we're gonna get some clear skies for the next few hours and then it's gonna downpour again so i'm gonna keep enjoying my day you keep enjoying yours and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.